Jean-Yves Le Gall, thank you for being with us. You're the president of the Centre National des Études Spatiales in France. Um, obviously an expert on space. Do you share the Elon Musk dream of getting to Mars? We are on Mars in CNES because we have a number of cooperation with NASA and uh, last night I got a picture from uh, sunset on Mars live but uh, we didn't send a human to Mars and uh, in fact uh, Elon Musk uh, that uh, I had the pleasure to introduce in Adelaide Australia last month because I was uh, at the International Astronomical Congress and he made came to make a presentation he wants to send a thousand of people to Mars uh, by uh, 2024 but uh, with uh, one way ticket exactly yes and uh, is that a reasonable uh vision, dream or ambition, it strikes me personally as being horrible. Perhaps for him, but not for me, because uh, I just take uh, round trip tickets. Yeah. And uh, so the question is uh, why to go to Mars? Uh, I think that uh, NASA had a, pr has a project which is a journey to Mars, which is, in my opinion, much more reasonable. The idea is to send by 2030 four or six astronauts. It's a long journey. It's mm -hmm. nine months to go, six months in orbit, nine months to come back in a kind of uh, small space station. Today, uh, the space station which is in orbit is uh, 400 tons. The idea would be to send a station of 70 tons to Mars and with a round trip ticket because uh, to observe what is going on on Mars and to come back. Absolutely. Which is a much better idea, I think. Um, a final question. It seems to me that what Elon Musk has done and what Richard Branson maybe is trying to do is to introduce um, private enterprise, the private sector, into space um, operations. What is Europe doing in that domain? Obviously it works. And, uh, but uh, what is sometimes a little bit disturbing in, uh, when he speaks is that uh, he speaks about uh, one third of things uh, which are working pretty well. Today the Falcon 9 launch vehicle is a good uh, launch vehicle. One third which is, uh, let us say, a little bit futuristic. And in Adelaide he introduced uh, the BFR for big fucking rocket, <laughs> which is a huge rocket. Yeah. And one third which is, in my opinion, utopia. But because you have a mix of all this, plus a number of uh, synthesis images, uh, people sometimes have some difficulty uh, to uh, see what is the truth and uh, what is a dream. Okay, a, a truly final question. If we are able to come back in a hundred years time, will we be in a universe in which there are human beings living uh, on other planets? On our planet is very difficult because in the solar system you have only Mars and uh, in addition you don't have an atmosphere and uh, living on Mars but uh, living on Mars with a kind of umbilical uh, going to the Earth it's very very difficult and uh, in my opinion in uh, 100 years from now we will still be on Earth and I like it. <laughs> That's a very smart answer. Thank you very much. Jean-Yves Legal, thank you. Thanks a lot.